Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and I'm here with more, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. So, we'll get the Pegasus boots in Dungeon 3, and then we can get, uh, I believe when we hit that, there's a secret seashell, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's just a fairy. We're gonna find out either way. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright. How's everybody doing today? Y'all are feeling good. We're ready for another exciting episode of a video game with me. <laughs> Instead of everyone else that's doing this, lol. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. What does the sign say? Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, buddy! It's serious! Yeah, really serious! Yeah, it is! The moblins came to the village! Yeah, that's right! A whole gang of moblins! Then, it's for real! They all went to the house! Yeah, that house! And then they did something at Bow Wow's house! It was a really bad scene! With the m moblins So I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Thanks. So during this whole thing, you don't want to come back here unless you want to read that whole text again. I don't think you do. Once is bad enough. So we got a crap load of rupees. This is Bao's house over here. As you can see, Bao is not there. Bao is the dog that was chained up. Uh, quote unquote dog. More like a chain chomp from Mario, but either way. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go grab that Yoshi doll. The A and B buttons move the crane, the rest is just tight. Timing. <laughs> Go over to the buttons to play, good luck. Alright, so you hold down the B button. Once you let it go, the crane will stop for B. As So you hold down B and it moves right as far as you want it to go. Then you hold down A and it goes down as far as you uh, want it to go. And then once you're done, once you let go of both buttons, the crane will hover for a second and then it'll slowly come down and then like uh, two sides of the crane will pinch whatever item you're trying to get. So you gotta time it really good if you're trying to come back here and get some of those items that are um, moving around like that. Alright, let's go for it. See what I'm saying? You got a Yoshi doll. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. Okie dokie. I don't want to hit the fox. Dog. I call them foxes. I think they're supposed to be dogs. I don't know. I have to look it up or something. Well, can I need the shovel, but I can't afford it right now. <clears throat> I wonder what this kid says. Hey, dude! What do you think of Marin? Uh, I don't know. I'm just a kid. Oh, okay. She likes to sing? That's pretty cool. Very brave. Yep, those are my bowl. Oh, he's saying the same thing as he did earlier. Oh, will you give that doll to my baby? Yes. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give this to you. I will give you this in return. You traded your Yoshi for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Yes, you can. Uh, you got to you need to go on this, uh, what I call the trade route thing in the Game Boy Zeldas. Um, I think there's, uh, 
One Knock of Time and Joe's Mask 2 and probably some others I can't remember right now. <laughs> um, I call it the trade route because throughout the whole game you're going to be trading random, uh, a very specific item for another very specific item. And oh great, here we go. Forgot about this. I'm just going to go take care of business and then we'll take the ribbon to where it needs to go. <sighs> I feel like I just tripped on a banana and fell on my face. I, I even warned you guys about that and I just fell for it myself. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I'm having a day. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I, so, like, you know, I don't know if you have to talk to her, but we're doing it just in case. Hey, it's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by m m moblins Oh, ah, please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Okay, so now we can go rescue Bow Wow. I think we could do it anyways, but... <clears throat> uh, okay. So, as you can see, we need to go through the mysterious forest, and we need to go above it. Excuse me. And there is where Bow Wow is. Actually, wait, we got the rock's feather, we can go over here and get something real quick. So hard to be exact. Oh boy, here we go. My favorite item. Well, one of my two favorite items. Didn't tell from the last episode. This is the piece of heart I was talking about. You got a piece of heart. Press select on the sub screen to see. Let's see. Nothing over there yet. I knew that was gonna happen. We are going to want to go there later. Uh, that's where the Moblin's Lair is that we're going to say bow at, I believe. The wind ship... The wind ship. The wind fish in name only, for it is neither. Okay. Before we rescue Bow Wow, I want you guys to meet the... I think he's like a mouse. A talking mouse, yeah. I just love to take pictures. Will you let me take your picture? Yeah, sure. Go to the back of the room and stand in front of the screen. Okay. I'll call this, here stands a brave man. Say cheese. What's your name, young man? Kion? Well, here's your album, Kion. Give it a look before you leave. Let's see if we can fill that album. Yeah, I'm not going to be trying that. <laughs> Travels of Kion. Do you want to look at your album? Uh, sure. Oh, well, I actually got... Well, we have a chance to fill it. Um, use arrow to select and press the A button. So there's our first picture. I think I did get all the pictures once, uh, in this game, but... It doesn't really do anything, I don't think. Unless it does, you guys let me know. Those are moblins too, somehow. They look different than the other ones. I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. At least I think they are. Because they're in the moblin lair where the moblins kidnapped. Uh. Eh? Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him! So that made him more, uh. Okay, boys, let's get rid of him! Alright, I thought they might be here. I don't know. Whatever. You must be an assassin. Must sent by Madam 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 Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. 
You came here to get me, but it's I who will get you. Maybe it's a Mandela effect thing, I have no idea. Oh right, we have to get him to run into the other side of the wall. There we go, then you can hit him once he's like that. Um, make sure he's kind of relatively close to the wall, and not really far away, because uh, he'll stop short of the wall if he's too far away. Ah, crap. Aha! Yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about if I can. Yeah, see? You've saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! So now you get to carry around the... Bow Wow. Bow Wow the Chain Chop. Oh, those are cracked floors. You don't want to stand on them because you'll just... I'll just show you. You'll fall through them. I should have pointed them out earlier when we first encountered them in that cave before we got the toadstool. My bad. Hoot! That is a fearsome looking animal that you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Kopanga Swamp. Okie dokie, Artsoki. You're close to Tall Tall Heights. The camera shop is nearby. That's nice. We already visited that guy. Okay. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Now that I've saved Bow Wow, I think those kids will leave us alone. I kind of just want to go and do... Before we do the dungeon, um... Take that ribbon to where it needs to go. I don't know, it's kind of a freaking long walk. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, he'll uh, attack enemies for you, which is pretty rad. Decisions, decisions. Wait a minute. I'm so dumb. I didn't even I didn't even need to go past to where those kids were yet. The uh Ribbon goes to the, you'll see, they're in town. Let's just go do this real quick, it won't take long. The house, the little, I don't know, this is a dog house next to the main house. Woof, dig, rough. Oh, that's, um, if you car can carry Bow Wow around with you long enough, in this room there's a seashell. He can detect seashells. And we need to talk to this, uh, dog. Or or puppy or whatever, chain puppy, uh, puppy chomp, whatever. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all, sigh. And some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? <laughs> yeah. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchanged bu uh, ribbon for dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Woof, dig rough, yeah, okay. So once we have the, uh, shovel, we'll, we'll dig in there and get another secret seashell. To the shovel, you can get a lot of them pretty quickly. I think maybe, like, at least close to ten. Depending on where you are in the game, I guess. Uh, there is another secret seashell nearby. He'll point it out right here, I believe. Right? Oh, maybe he won't point it out, but I think there's one supposed to be there. Well, we'll check anyway. I'm like 78% sure, I think. Um, the dog food goes to somebody around the beach. Yep, here we go. This guy. 
What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man, give me that food. Give that dog food to me, please. He's hysterical. What do you do? Give. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. He's got all these bananas. Okay. Maybe he just misses meat. <laughs> munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. All right. You gave him dog food and got bananas in return. Good deal. Yes. Uh, we don't need to use the bananas for a little while. We can go to the dungeon now. I told you it wouldn't take long. The longest thing is the frickin' walking. Wait! I just had an idea. No. Eh, we can get a third piece of heart real quick. Oh boy. Hoodly hoo. Whoop de frickin' do. Whoop de frickin' do. I'm not Dr. Evil, you're Dr. Evil. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go and do a little bit of fishing real quick. <coughs> How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Fish. Okay, here's how you do it. Use left and right on the directional pad to aim a cast. Once you hook a fish, press the button rapidly to reel them in. Yeah, okay, so the one we want, I believe, is the one all the way on the bottom in the back. So we're gonna have to play this a few times, probably. Maybe only twice, I don't know. Hang on, I gotta tap like a crazy guy. It's a runt! I'll only give you a five rupee prize for that. You should try again. Yeah, okay. Oh, he gives you instructions every time you do it again. What do you do? I know what to do. But thank you. That's the one we want. It's a little bit harder to reel in, but what I do is I take my index finger and my middle finger, and I just uh, go between A and B with both of them. Like I'm uh, running in place really quick quickly with my fingers, I guess you could say. Wow, nice fish! It's a lunker! I'll give you a 20 rupee prize! Try again? Oh man, that wasn't it. We need the other big one. Great. I don't want to be here for this long. Ugh. Thought it was that one, my bad. Another Mandela effect thing. God damn, by this point I should have got the run. Or maybe even both of them almost. This is taking forever. Five million years later. No, I'm getting him anyways. This is great. You little poop head. I'm gonna read the instructions again. Fish the whole pond out for a stinking piece of heart. Here we go. Oh yeah, he's even harder to reel in than the other one. Oh, it's a big one, and it has a piece of heart too. You get a 20 rupee prize on top of that. Try again. 
<laughs> this is funny. Yes, the bond's all fished out. Why not try your luck in the sea? Okay. Did I say that? Forget it, okay? Now run along now. Uh, I think later on we meet him again under a bridge. Yeah. Let's see here. To the dungeon! After we save. The giant egg on top of Tamaranch Mountain? They say the windfish is sleeping inside of it. Why? I don't know either. Okay. I didn't mean to talk to I was just trying to cut the bus real quick. Ugh. I don't have to waste any more time. Let's just get going. Come on. something with him at some point. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's right. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Yeah. You've got a guardian acorn. It'll reduce the damage you take by half. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, life might. Definitely am going to need my shield, most likely. And grab that treasure chest. Watch out for the cracked floors in the giant pit there. Oh boy. Oh, uh, we need a... The next dungeon item to get the, uh... I believe that's another piece of heart up there. Let me check this wall. Nothing. Okay. Um. When you poke your sword at walls, and at least it is Zelda in the other Game Boy Zeldas, uh, I think Minish Cap too. I don't know about the other ones. Probably a Link Between Worlds, which I'd love to play that. I, that. That game looked so cool when it came out. Um. Yeah, I haven't been able to play that yet either. What was I gonna say? Oh, right, you can, once you have bombs, you can, uh, throw a bomb, have it explode against the wall. That's, you know, uh, it'll crumble easily, and then it'll open a door and you can go through. Music, this, the fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Okay, then. Sounds like lyrics to some, like, 80s hair metal band song. Or some, or something. <laughs> Something like that. This is Gobanga Swamp. Danger! Keep out! Except Bow Wow. Um, this is where the next dungeon is, and this is why we need Bow Wow. You can't attack these guys with your sword, but Bow Wow can eat them. Looks like a bombable wall, maybe? Nope. I was wrong. You ever do something and you get it in your head, you have to do it everywhere? Me too. Obviously. Yeah, here's a treasure chest. I think that's 50 rupees? You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Yes, very nice. 
Oh, I can go get the shovel now. Oh, we're doing the dungeon. We're not going to need the shovel in there. All I gotta do is wait. Yeah, that's the dungeon entrance. This is why I need. This is the sole reason why we need Bow Wow. Or at the not the sole reason, but you know, as far as moving the game along, all that. Level two, Bottle Grotto. This dungeon, needless to say, is a little bit more difficult than the last one. Each one gets progressively more difficult, like in most video games, but still pretty easy. I remember when I was a kid, though, there is one part I got stuck on, and I had to have my friend... I didn't even have a computer at the time. I had to have my friend go and look uh, on a guide online at what to do. I had to call him up and be like, dude, what do I do here? Oh, man. I was not expecting that. Okay. I don't think we need to light this room up. We just need to kill a jellyfish. Yep. Oh, wow. So useful. This is definitely worth using a key. I'll uh, show you guys the part I got stuck on. It had me stumped for, like, ever. And I'll tell you why, too. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. Yeah. I didn't do that. So these I, these crystal dungeons do kind of suck. They're a little tricky. Uh, you got a small key. You can open locked door. The reason why is because not only can you uh, hold on. Uh, hit the switch while you're standing on top of one, and then it raises. And then you can do this, but also, depending on whether or not it's raised or lowered, um, like, it as you can see, it changes which blocks are raised and lowered, and either you can choose to remember that, or whatever, but it's not easy. You got a small key, and open locked door. It's pretty easy in this dungeon, though. This dungeon's, eh. When it comes to that. But, uh, there's one that comes much later that has, like, multiple floors, and it's like, what? Okay, I need to get that key. Oh, I got two already, though. I'll be back. Alright. In this room, you need to push those blocks together uh, from each side that they're on. Make every block design the same, and your path will open. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, mini boss. Uh, I guess it just throws bombs, just crack floors on the top, left, right, and down there, close to the bottom. Avoid the crack floors, avoid the bombs. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Come here, fairy. If uh, you get too close to it, the fairies, and um, they seem like they don't want to approach you, just run away from them and then stand still for a second. They'll usually just come to you if you do that. Usually, though, sometimes they're still kind of just like, stay, try to stay away from you for whatever reason. But usually, like I said, it's like 90% of the time, they'll, if you just stand there and wait a second, they'll, they'll come towards you. First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Last, Salfos. So I had no idea what it, this is. That's the part I got stuck on. I had no idea what Paul's voice and Stalfos meant. But there are two specific types of enemies, and we're gonna reach a room where you have to defeat three different kinds of enemies uh, in a certain order. 
And that's where I got stuck. Yeah, basically. I think I might need that key. Not yet. I mean, I, brought, I am gonna need it, but... Whatever. This is the dungeon item. You got the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pops and pops, pots and stones. So, with the power bracelet, you need to hold. Be you need to approach. Uh, you know, pot, stone, whatever. Um, make sure you got the directional pad. Uh, hold held down towards the item. Then hold the B button, and then Link will uh, grab onto it and hold it. Let go of the joystick while holding the B button still. Uh, move the joystick away from the item while still holding the B button. Then you can let go of the B button and walk around with the item. Uh, and if you press A, or B, he'll throw it. Oh, I got another key. Woohoo! So I actually do want to go back and get that key that we didn't get yet. Because we're all, almost got the dungeon already. Almost entirely traversed. Oh, come on now. I don't think I did. Or do I? There we go. Yay! Another one. Now they're more rare, they're not so bad anymore. It was super common in the beginning. Probably to help you not die. In case this is your first time playing Zelda, which I wound up dying anyway. <sighs> this is fantastic. Okay. So those rabbits, those are Paul's voices. Oh boy. Uh, that's not what I want. Trying to find a heart, but apparently there aren't any. Aha! Okay, well, I know I said I wanted to go back and get the key, but now I'm like, ooh, what's over here? Hmm. So you want to pick this up. Probably gonna lead us to where the boss is, but we need the boss key to get to the boss. How did I know? Yeah, see, won't do anything without the bot. Well, though. Just wanted to see if that fairy would come back. So, yeah. This is the room. Okay, and you get the, um... The boss key, I believe. So that's the Paul's voice. Uh, then you go for the key, which is the bat. And that's the Stalfos. You've got the Nightmares key, now you can open the door of the Nightmares right there, yeah. Did I even get the... I didn't even get the compass yet, that's pretty funny. See, we also have piranha plants here in this game. Yeah, I don't know why, but for a little while, even after you get the power bracelet, the game wants to keep 
sending you that message for a little while. So, you can just do this for these guys. Uh, there we go. Oh, psh, that was done. I think this is where the compass is. Surprise. <laughs> Excuse me. All stuff now is the boss. Okay, thank you. <sighs> oh, come on. Really? Come on. Those holes can be like quicksand sometimes. If you catch yourself just on the edge, sometimes you can pull yourself out of it. Really? You don't say. The boss. Ho ho ho! I'm your bad guy this time! Ho ho ho! Uh, okay. Alright, I think you need to try to hit him with your sword. 
Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. So now that he's coming out of his bottle. Uh, gotta wait for a minute, I guess. Watch out for these things, just run around and avoid them. He goes in his bottle and he starts running around and you hit it with your sword. I can't move, but I am still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. So now you need to use the power bracelet. Pick up the bottle, throw it at the wall. Oh, it takes a little damage. And he says the same thing over again. Once you have this pattern down and you actually know how to beat this boss, he's really easy. He's even easier than the first boss, I think. The first boss is just cat actually running around and you can fall into a pit and have to get him get his HP. His HP goes back to full, I'm assuming, after you leave and come back. And then you have to hit him so many times, like five or six times or whatever, until he's dead. Depending on, you know, whether or not you spin attacks and all that. This guy, if you know the trick to beat him, you know how to avoid the fireballs, there's no problem. Wah! You, you broke my bottle! Why, you, you make me hopping mad! So now you just have a sword. And he disappears in a second, comes back to the fireball, hit him again. This is the only part he's actually a little bit difficult in, obviously. This is the first time he's seen me. Holy crap, it takes a whole heart. I need Rock Feather. There we go. You've got the coach horn! is waiting. Okay. Thanks, Owl. Where's the Owl? I know he's around here somewhere waiting to talk to me. Oh, or not. Okay. Cool. Guess we don't have to deal with him. So, now this place is important. It's for two, and it's gonna be important again later, uh, which I'll tell you why when we get to that point. This is Crazy Tracy. Um, you can buy this medicine from her, and if you run out of hearts, it's like having a bottle in later Zelda games uh, and putting a fairy in it, uh, refills your health. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret, Jim. It's also super cheap. All right, come here. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again, big guy. So that red bottle there, it's crazy. It, crazy Tracy's medicine. Uh, very useful stuff. Wish I would have had it earlier when I died in the first dungeon like a dummy. Uh, yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna be really mad if that's the only death I have throughout the whole game. Probably won't be though. I usually die about 15 to 20 times at least when I play this. And that's uh, in save deaths. Sometimes you can just start the game over without worrying about that. Oh yeah, that thing there, let's just go into it real quick, just in case there's more of them throughout the uh, island, they're your warp points. And they don't, they're not like the uh, trees in Land Stalker, they actually like go to each, each one you go into cycles throughout the island, so it's like, wherever you want to go, you just go into one and it takes you to the next one, and the next one will take you to the next one, etc, etc, I think so. Actually, I might be wrong about that. <laughs> we could go in there, 
but we need the Pegasus boots. I think she just tells us she wants to sing again. Yeah. I just love to sing. What can I say? What do you like to do, Kyon? Bring, bring a riot, your service. Oh, you should take Bella home now. Madam Yummy, I would appreciate it. Bye, click. Okay. I wonder if we can get bombs yet. I think you need to buy them. Might be able to get them once we've got... Yep, we can get bombs. Sweet. Deluxe shovel! 200 rupees. Seems expensive. Bye. Thanks a lot, and come again. Ten bombs, ten rupees, bye. Thanks a lot and come in. So, you have an option, for whatever reason. If you go over here, you make this guy look at you for a second, and then you could just... He'll, like, stand there forever, looking away from you. And then you can just steal the item without him stopping you. And, but, if you do that, uh, for those of the game, you're called Thief. And if you go back into the store, um, I think he kills you. I don't know if you can save and quit and come back and try to go to the store afterwards, but... Yeah. Obviously, that's not great, and I don't want to be called a thief in all caps throughout the rest of the game. By everyone. So, I mean, everyone calls you thief if you do this. Not just like this guy. Everyone you talk to, your name is now thief instead of the name you put. If you steal from that store. But hey, if you want what... It, I guess it's like if you want what you want, but it comes at a, you can get it, but it comes at a cost. And most, I don't know, can't say most people because I really have no idea. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of people at least that don't give a crap, and I didn't give a crap when I did this a few times. Uh, but when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I need that freaking bow and arrow, I'd just steal it. I didn't care that everybody called me thief throughout the rest of the game, but now I'm like, you know what? It kind of sucks. I'd rather have my name be what I put. I need the Pegasus boots for this tree here. Oh, you know, now we got the shovel. Before we sign out... Uh... Let's... yeah. Grab this real quick. That's where the secret seashell is. Right here. Guess we gotta talk to Madame Meow Meow. Oh ho ho! I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. Smooch! You got a reward from Madame Meow Meow. L -l lucky Alrighty then. Oh, here we go. Hey, that looks great. I'll call it Kion plays with Bow Wow. Now get closer to Bow Wow. Grrr. Kion, get closer. Grrr, grrr. Grrr, grrr, grrr. Much closer. Okay, I'm ready. Smile. <laughs> That's funny. That's the picture. We don't have to look at it. Um. There is not a secret seashell here right now. Whatever. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Sakamoto playing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color. I will see y'all in the next episode of this game and yibbity yibbity yabbity gobbity blah 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 blah. I love you guys. Have a great.